Hey, welcome back. In this episode of my video vlog series, which is a bit redundant, uh, I wanted to spend some time and do a little intimate car shopping. Uh, and by car shopping, I really mean car parts. And by car parts, I mean mods. Also, another way of saying take your money and set it on fire. Um, you know, we can all dream, we can all wish, right? And it's kind of fun to do that. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse into my mind on what sort of things are really interesting um, in my perspective about what I would do, kind of maybe planning on doing, uh, with the M2CS that is on order. So uh, the guys over at Get BW Parts have ordered stuff for them before. I'm not paid to say anything. I've had great experience with them. They ship very fast and they've, they've gone through the process of, uh, of actually kind of giving you pictures here. It's actually kind of find, hard to find an inventory, an online inventory of all the parts that are available for the, uh, for the M2 uh, competition, let alone the CS. So um, I guess for now, I'll kind of start the conversation because I've got some ideas. I've got really three areas that I plan on, on, on tweaking and playing with the car. Uh, one of them is using some additional BMW performance parts. So for those of you that know or don't know, on the M2 CS, it already has some N, uh, BMW performance parts. Uh, the rear spoiler, I'm sorry, the rear diffuser on the bottom is a performance part, and so are the mirror caps. Uh, the front lip, the spoiler here, uh, is not. It's custom for the CS. It's a little extended or it's longer than the uh, the end performance piece. Um, the, the hood or the bonnet and the roof are, are, are new uh, bespoke pieces for that car. Uh, and then also the rear spoiler, or the duck bill, uh, or the gurney flap, depending on how you want to describe it, uh, is also bespoke and made custom for the, the CS. It's different from the other models. So I figured, you know, let's continue the theme going on here uh, for the car. And I feel like there's a couple pieces that will help kind of complete the package, right? So number one is, is the carbon kidney grill. If I, can, if I can spell right while I type kidney, it's not even coming up. Never mind. Okay. I was going to do control F and find it, but I can't. I got to scroll down and find it together. So let's see, where do we got here? Um, no, 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 lots of parts here. Ah, well, I guess we'll, we won't, we'll go through what I see first. So one is, these are the gloss black parts. That's what the car has right now. That's really uninteresting. What is more interesting is the carbon fiber pieces. Here's some of the wheels. That's not one of them. Sorry, this is so boring. Here we go. So the carbon fiber uh, gill set, right? These, these babies, um, you got a carbon fiber lip on the bottom, hood, a uh, roof on top, Spoiler in the back and diffuser in the back. I don't know why they didn't add these things. They're really not that much money. What are they? Yeah, 160 bucks or so uh, for each side. I feel like this will really complement the other carbon bits in the car uh, with subtle little details. So that's kind of left and right pieces there. Let's, let's add those to cart and we'll kind of, yeah. And we'll add the other guy to cart. There we go. Oh, cool, and I found the kidney rolls. So we'll add this just for giggles and we'll go into it and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So these are kind of really cool. These are factory made, not aftermarket, uh, solid piece. So when they did the lifestyle uh, impulse, the LCI update, um, I guess it was 2017 or so, or 2018, 2019, they changed the shape of the kidney grills on the competition package. So they're now one piece design, which is kind of the same for all the other BMWs now today, where they're really going far off the deep end, like we talk about the other time. But um, these are carbon fiber surrounds. And uh, I've seen some real life pictures of them. And actually, let's do that right now. Let's look up this part number. Do a quick little Google search. Google search. And let's see if we can get some other cool pictures of this. I think maybe ECS or IND has some, uh, some nice photos. Here we go. Let's check out these guys. Thank you, bwpartspros.com. Uh, is that better or worse? Ah, you can kind of kind of see it. Anyway, again, another subtle little detail that I think will play off the rest of the carbon bits without really making it over the top and too ricey. Uh, so we've got, we added that to the mix. Um, we'll go back and let's see. So we've got the front grill, we've got the side uh, gills, and I'll be honest, there was a point where I was actually considering um, adding the carbon fiber side panel. And uh, this whole thing, basically the, the quarter paddle is built all in carbon fiber. The problem is when you look at the lines of the car with this piece on here, it does something a little funny. Is that gonna work? Yeah, let's try, what's a good shot? You need a side, a side view. Maybe this kind of shows a little bit. Because they put the cutout on the bottom here, hopefully you can zoom in. It, it kills the shoulder lines. The shoulder line normally 
has those gills that I just showed you that kind of fit neatly in there. Um, let's find another M2. No, not gonna be. Anyway, but the point I'm trying to make is it brings the it brings your eye down in kind of a weird spot and leave this kind of open. So I couldn't get on board with that. I, the price, whatever, it's expensive, but what you know for what I was trying to do would make the car more lighter. Um, I, I felt like there was something there, but I don't know. I don't like the styling of this. I'm okay with the, the visual carbon fiber, but I felt like the location of it, or even the fact that maybe they should have made it maybe wider or taller, that would have helped with some of the visual elements, but I couldn't get behind it. So I've kind of scratched, scratched that off my, my mental list. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I have no plans on doing that. So got rid of that. Um, there was a time where I was considering doing the performance exhaust system, namely because it sounds pretty cool and it is a genuine OE part. And if I'm going to continue this kind of OE plus, uh, we'll call it upgrade framework, uh, that's that's that falls in line with it. Only problem is number one, I can't confirm that this exhaust fits on the M2CS, and number two, I have other plants. I have Dynan plants, and if I'm going to do Dynan, uh, I want to do the whole Dynan package. And part of that, it would be weird to have all the Dynan bits except for the exhaust. And the exhaust, I went with with the the, the BW part. I don't know. It hasn't really sit well with me, so I've kind of scratched it off the list for, for now. So I'm uh, sharing it with you. Uh, but it, they're, they're, it's a pretty cool piece. Then the other thing too is uh, this shift shifter knobber thingy. Um, and there's two parts here. One is the e-brake handle, and for a lot of the bits in the M2CS are gloss carbon fiber or wet kind of carbon fiber weaves. So the door handles, um, and what else? I don't have the car with me, so I can't really tell you. Uh, but to match, I wanted I wanted the handle itself to be gloss. And if you look at some of the pictures of this kit, and I'll get into the shifter in a second. If you look at some of the pictures of the kit. There, uh, it's a matte fiber, which matches the rest of the stock interior. These are horrible pictures. These are not. Here we go. Here's one. eBay. Good old eBay to the rescue. You can kind of see if this thing helps me. No, it doesn't help me with anything. Awful, failed. Yeah. Anyway, trust me. Here, take my word. It's it's a it's a matte carbon fiber. Yeah. See, it's not the gloss. So I've got the gloss handles. I'll change the e-brake to from the leather one to this to match, but it doesn't have the right sheen to it. So what's the point in doing that? So I found. I think IND has a uh, no. Actually, I think what I found was the part number for that handbrake itself is compatible with a e-brake handle on the M3 and M4 as part of their M performance kit. For whatever reason, that's gloss fiber and this one isn't. So I might play around with that. Um, but the, uh, the, the, the shock of shock, the gear shift lever itself, the, 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 uh, the gear lever, that's something I'm kind of interested in playing with. I've had the ZHP knob, which is standard on the, on the car. By the way, ZHP knob for those that are new to the BMW world, I shouldn't assume everyone knows that is. Back in 05, yeah, back in 05, BMW introduced a performance package option. And that just means it was an option. You check it and you get a bunch of bits. One of which included the, the, the now kind of famous ZHP shift knob. Um, shift knob. And it's been in the lineup for, for a long time. And of course, now I can't seem to just do ZHP shift knob. Yeah, find it for you. So this thing, same thing that's in the, uh, the same thing that's in the except it's a six speed in the M2 CS. So I'm used to it. I've had it on my my, my ZHP that I had in 05, really great the car. Um, but um it's weighted, which is kind of cool, and it makes shifting effort a lot easier. But I'm curious about you know the, the aesthetics and the feel of, of this puppy. So I plan on on, on kind of adding it to the mix and then fixing that uh, the e-brake handle incongruity uh, as well. So I got that bit. And what else? Don't need brakes. Probably add the indoor car cover because that's kind of cool. And it actually might make sense. This is going to sound weird. It might make sense to actually pick up a spare steering wheel because it does have the perforated uh, 12 o'clock positions and just hold it on because 495 isn't really a bad deal considering a new steering wheel. Retrimming a steering wheel by itself costs a couple hundred bucks, three, four hundred dollars or so. So having a spare one because invariably the Alcantara wears out uh, isn't really the end of the world. And that's kind of it on. Oh, and then 
Uh, yeah, that's kind of it on the, the genuine side of, uh, of bits and pieces. And then floor mats, other pieces I'll, I'll talk about. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's go to the checkout here. Let's see what that, this looks like. Damage is going to be 1800 bucks. Oh, wait, I forgot one piece. I forgot one piece. I forgot that I actually like the, um, hold on, let's see if I can find it, uh, cover. Yeah, this thing. So this is kind of cool. This is the uh, M Performance Carbon Fiber Engine Cover. And uh, if you haven't seen this thing, this thing is pretty gorgeous. Um, it's uh, a gloss carbon fiber. The weave matches the, the, the strut brace. Um, and when I plan on doing the other upgrade with Dynan, uh, that kind of ties the whole, the whole piece together. So I'm excited to add it to the mix there. There we go. Why not? It's just money. And we're at 2700 bucks of miscellaneous money wasting stuff. So that's kind of fun. That's that part. Now, uh, let's do the next piece. The next piece is the UCP, and this is a, a new item to me. I haven't tried one before, but uh, UCP stands for Ultimate Clutch Pedal. And what they've done is they allow you to uh, change the feel of the, 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 the action of engaging the clutch uh, via changing some springs or, or the engagement points of those springs. It's kind of a, a leverage and mechanical thing. So, uh, so this pedal is kind of made out of build, uh, build with aluminum. It's a little bit stronger than the stock plastic one, and it gives you some flexibility to change the feel of the uh, of the clutch pedal. It's not too too much money. I think it was uh, four hundred bucks. What was the how much money was this silly pedal? Hold on. All right. Well, it, while it's loading up, it includes uh, an adjustable clutch stop. Now, again, those of you uh, that are new to shifting and you're used to cars, reason why this is important is there's a, a Watch my hands for a second. So when you, actually no, let's see if I can show you on this. No, what's a better example to show you? Sorry, the website isn't that great. Yeah, no. So when this clutch pedal depresses all the way down, it hits the floor. And what that little pet, the little uh, clutch stop thing I just showed you look does, this, uh, where is it? Come on. It's called a clutch stop. What this thing does is it raises that point up off the carpet. And what that means is, so when you engage the clutch, when you push it in, there's a, there's a point down that path where the clutch is actually engaged or, dis, or disengaged and engaged with the flywheel. And so normally on the stock car, you can go past that point of engagement, which is the floor. There's no need to push the pedal down that far. So this clutch stop, it just allows you to adjust that, the, the maximum range of the pedal so that when you push it down, you've hit the clutch engagement point. And so what that means is it makes your shifting a lot faster because you're, you're not going sailing past that point. That's the best way I can describe it. Those of you that, that um, are familiar with what I'm talking about, chime in on the comments and you can kind of uh, help the, the newbies uh, uh, appreciate what that means. So some of the comments I'm hearing about, uh, again, I haven't driven the car. This is sort of like, if I don't like how it feels, this is going to be an upgrade option that I plan on doing with the car, um, adding this on there. And... Um, and uh, you know we'll see. So that's kind of on the short list. And then on the bigger picture list, I, uh, I've got, those of you that follow my channel, you know that I've got uh, kind of a little unhealthy obsession with some Dynan bits. Uh, my, my M5 currently is, is a full Dynan S2 spec, and then some of the additional options on there that were found on, on the, uh, the S3 package. Um, I loved what Dynan did back in the day for the, um, for the, the one M. Yeah, and um, it's actually called Dynan 1M SR3, S3R. I'd love for Dynan to do something similar to the M2 CS. And so I've been in talks with Dynan about um, using my car as, as a platform to kind of uh, build a package to really enhance the, the CS platform. And so let's take a look uh, at what is available today on the M2 uh, by itself, the M2 competition. This is the one with the S55 motor. And there are some things that are not available on the M2 that are available on the M3 and M4. And the funny part about the M3 and 4 and M2, all those two, three, fours, is that from the engine, they're identical, and the suspension bits, the, the carriers and the subframes, they're virtually identical. The only differences are the springs on the M2 are different from the M3 and M4. And so we'll get into that in a second. So I'm thinking from an engine standpoint, um, maybe starting out with the Dynan Plus HE, and this gives you a, a, you know, a good power bump. The numbers here will probably differ from where I'm at because this is max gains of 80 horsepower over the M2C, which my car will have 40 horsepower. So I'm really adding 40 more horsepower and a little bit more, more, um, more foot pounds of, of, uh, 
of, of torque. Got a phone call. Uh, so it seems like there might not be that much of a jump. Uh, and this particular tune is designed to work in con conjunction with the air heat exchanger, which is also on the list, which is this thing. So I plan on doing the heat exchanger. It seems like doing the stage one, which doesn't really give you the full warranty pieces. Um, I'm not really going to be driving the car very much. That's the honest truth. I'm very lucky, very fortunate to be in a position where I, I, I can afford to do that. So thank you, Universe, for that. Um, so I'm, not, I'm probably going to run out of warranty by time alone and not so much mileage. So maybe starting out of the gate with stage one um, will, is, is really more my speed. And still, I'll pair it with the, the heat exchanger. Now, this is saying max gains of 146 over uh, an M2C. So it'll probably be like max gains of 100 horsepower. Like, that's something to sneeze at instead of 146, uh, which is, which is kind of cool. And uh, here in Georgia, we, we, we have access to 93 octane fuel. So yay, more power. Um, so that's kind of where I'm thinking for the for, uh, for software. I mentioned hardware for the heat exchanger. Obviously, plan on doing the heat, the uh, cold air intake. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, doing the M performance carbon engine cover, uh, I think will go really, really well. Uh, kind of tying all three of those elements together without it being too over the top. Um, and that adds a little bit more power, especially when I pair it with the, the stage one uh, software. Um, M performance makes pedal covers. I'll probably use the Dyna ones. They're pretty cool. Um, and it kind of ties the whole package together. So we got that. Uh, I definitely plan on doing the lightweight tubular anti-roll bars. That's a fun word to say, tubular, uh, as well. Don't need the mirror caps. Uh, definitely gonna do tension strut ball joints. So these ball joints, they go on the tension strut. What tells the tension strut? Tension strut is, think of it as a, a control arm and um, you get rid of the rubber bushing and there's a bolt that runs through the middle I like doing this, uh, of, 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 of this area here. And it, this metal bushing doesn't move or deflect. So as there is extra load on the suspension, the front wheels, it keeps the wheel, I think the camber, uh, in, the, uh, in, in the right spot, or maybe even the toe, uh, in the right spot. So your wheels are constantly in the right position, even though there's a lot of forces acting on it that might cause the alignment to change. So this kind of keeps it there. I have one on my, um, my M3 and I have one on my M5, uh, and it adds really, this much NVH, noise, vibration, and uh, what's the H? Harshness uh, to the suspension. Um, these are the rear link kits, uh, allegedly from Dynan. The rear bit, the rear bars, there's no pictures of it. The rear stock bars, with all that power, they, they, they flex a little bit. And so because it's a curved bar, these are allegedly stronger and stiffer and they help keep the rear more planted, so they say, uh, and improve in traction and overall rear stability. So add it to the list. Um, I've read some reviews. A lot of people seem to say that they've noticed a definite improvement in handling by adding that damn uh, link kit to the car. Um, back to this thing about exhaust. If I do do an exhaust, uh, I would do the silver tipped ones because the M2CS has the silver tips. So I don't want to do the black ones, keep it stockish looking. Um, but I might like the stock exhaust. I, I haven't heard it for myself. I've heard videos online of the European version of the M2CS, which has the OPF filter. It's redundant, but you know what I'm saying? The OP filter in there. And that kind of really, really mutes that the sound. Um, and I, you know, hearing things online through the computer, there's a lot of audio compression. So it's removing frequencies of sound out of the equation. It's not the same thing as, as listening to, to in person. So I have to make up my, my mind on whether or not the stock exhaust is enough um, or if I want to you know, go, go forward and, and, and have the good problem of, of, of picking the, uh, the dining kit there. Um, and then the floor mats. I think floor mats would be really cool. Um, could be the whole package. I have them in my M5. Yeah, it's a bunch of money, but they're really plush and um, they look good. I like it. And the last thing here is, if you notice, there is a spring, there's a coilover kit Although it's misleading, it's not really a coilover kit, it's just adjustable spring setup. They have one for the M2C, but the M2C does not have adjustable suspension. So what I've noticed is in looking at the part numbers, the M3 and M4, let's see if we can go to there. So let's let me talking about it, I can show it to you. Let's do coilover kits and we'll change it to 2019 PNW M4. So we can use the same kit for the M2, but there's one part number on the, the EDC one, the adjustable, uh, the electronic dampeners. 
there's one part number on here that we need, and it's just for the front uh, strut. There is a, it holds, here we go, this piece, this end link mount kit. So if I can acquire this one component of this kit and pair it with the, the M2 coilover kit, that should enable me to now have a coilover kit for easy suspension on an M2. At least that's what's going on in my mind. Um, I don't see why that wouldn't work. And again, I'll talk to the guys at, at Dynan about that uh, when I get to that point. Stop pinging me, dude. Um, and that's kind of really it from a from a uh, component standpoint to kind of make this, you know, maybe like an S3R1M clone via the M2CS, uh, at least in my mind. Um, and that's kind of all I have really planned for the car as far as modifications. Actually, that's not sure I lied. Uh, paint protection. So I am still figuring that out. I'm a big proponent of PPF, of paint protection film. Um, I, uh, I've got them on pretty much all my cars. And uh, I, I, for me, having not a lot of time to really spend a lot of time on my cars, I like the fact that they're self-healing and I like the fact that they, um, they last a really long time. So if I wash the car and I, I, I put some, some washing induced swirls in the paint, put the thing in the sun, and those swirl marks go away. Uh, it's gonna be a garage kept car. I just don't really have the time anymore or the energy to detail, do a three stage correction on my cars anymore. Um, I don't. So thinking of doing a full body paint protection film on the car, uh, I'm gonna figure that out, but, um, but that's it. So hope you enjoyed the video. It was 20 minutes, hopefully it was fun. It's kind of fun talking about this sort of thing. I have no one else to talk to. My wife does not wanna hear me rag on for 21 minutes about different uh, <laughs> mods for the car. So thank you for being an outlet for me. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, post some comments. Um, again, this is all an effort uh, for me to create more content for the community. And oh, also st that promotion still exists. I have a number of, of um, let's see if I can show you what they look like. Uh, Bimmer Brew, Bimmer Brew. These guys uh, have a great, um, they've sent me some extra mugs I don't need all the extra mugs. I've got some M2, does he have them or are they? Do you have them on here? No, he doesn't have one. Anyway, I've got a bunch of, um, of, of cool M2 mugs that I'm happy to, um, to, to give out as, uh, as, as gifts to subscribers that can show that you've shared this video with at least 10 of your friends. Um, and I'll, I'll, send you a, uh, I'll send you a mug on my dime. I've got about four or five of them. So please help me get my subscriber count out. I think I'm at 2,400 or 500 right now. I want to get to 5,000. I think it's achievable. Um, and uh, I need your help. So thank you again. And I'll see you next time.